So this is the conduit box that uh, you can purchase either separately or as a kit. Let's see what comes in the box. I know a lot of people always have questions on what comes in there, right? So first you get all these like gland covers, you know, it's rubberized gland covers. Uh, you also have the glands that come and fit there, right? You also have the smaller sized glands. And then you also got these little, uh, I want to call them like anti-shaping covers or protectors so that, you know, cables don't get shaped up. Uh, you also have mounting screws and keys. And then you get the actual conduit box, which is actually important, okay? Uh, so a lot of people kind of wonder online, you know, when they haven't actually seen this, is this plastic or metal? This thing is actually metal, it's just painted like this, so it kind of looks like it's plastic. So if you want to know how to use it, you want to make sure that this box, this big open square, is sitting on top of the battery, because that's how it works, and this black latch is on your right side, right? So the way it opens, you open it, you can unlatch it and you got this opening here. So in this opening, obviously this part will sit on top of the battery, the four screws in here, you would bolt down to the battery, right? And you obviously wanna ground all of this stuff. So make sure you're grounding all of that stuff properly. There is a little gasket here that helps kind of keep it more airproof or waterproof, but you know, you're not gonna be putting this outside, all right? Unless you're gonna be using this on the uh, 18K with the Power Pro battery. But you know, this one, in my case, we're gonna be using the 6000 XP, okay? And if you wanna look at which uh, boxes or holes are pretty much knocked out, right? Um, the ones on the back here, all of the entire back row is knocked out and that's set up perfectly to match with the 6000 XP. There's other ones on here, right? And the knockouts are still there and they haven't been knocked out. So, you know, if you have a 6000 XP, this is the one you wanna get. And if you look around to the back side, uh, there is a little lip that they cut out or dadoed out um, such that the, the lip mounting lip, bottom part of the lip for the 6000 XP fits in there and you can access the screws to mount the bottom of the 6000 XP to your wall surface, okay? Uh, on the sides, none of the uh, knockouts have been knocked out out of the box. If you are going to be paralleling, you know, multiple batteries together, you will have to knock some of those out but uh, it will not come knocked out by default. That right there is the conduit box for the EG4 indoor wall mount battery. And before we close this up, I wanna point out a few key points. And one of them is the top part of the conduit box and pretty much all the sides. So all the parts where it has like a pre-stamped so you can kind of knock those out or knockouts, I think they, they really call them, is that uh, they are not waterproof or watertight or airtight by any means. Because they are pre-stamped, there's almost like two or four spot welds holding them into place. So there is an air gap there. You can see the light coming in through those cracks. So if you're planning to use this or get it because you think it's like gonna be watertight, it's not going to be the case. But also remember, this is not a watertight or outdoor rated battery, okay? So the second thing I wanted to point out is that the conduit box sits flush with the back side of the battery, but not the battery mounting plate. So the battery mounting plate sits close to about uh, maybe an inch to uh, half an inch to about an inch off the wall, right? Off the back side of the plate. So uh, there is a gap between the back of the conduit box and the wall when you mount it. So make sure you are aware of that if you, know, if you needed it to be flat or whatnot because it will not sit flat with it, mainly because the mounting plate uh, sits off the back side of the battery. So uh, that's something to know and think about in case you wanted to know. But the other thing to know on that is that the 6000 XP will mount to the wall, right? Just like the battery can mount to the wall. 
So there is a bit of a gap uh, inside of the conduit box. If you look here where that mounting flange is, but it's not a problem mainly because the uh, it's been cut out so you can access the holes there, right? The other thing, since we're talking about the holes, is that there are holes on the uh, conduit box that allow you to access the three screws that hold the cover plate for the 6000 XP on on the bottom, okay? I, I'm assuming a lot of people probably won't even put the three screws at the bottom on because the two on each side will probably be good enough, but it's gonna be good to know that there are holes on the conduit box so you can access and put the bottom screws on and off, okay? So, like I said, this whole system is rated to be indoor, so hopefully, you know, not a lot of stuff bothers you, but in case you, you had a, you know, an issue with the gap on the back, you could just put like two additional hardy boards up or, you know, whatever fits your needs. So, like I said, hopefully this video helped the guys out and that's what you get with this conduit box. Let us know if you have any questions. Otherwise, have a great day and we'll see you guys next time.